These video game stations aren't a diversion for this training class of surgeons. Director of Surgery Butch Rosser put them here because modern non-invasive surgery requires unique skills. You look at a television screen and you hold these instruments that are two feet long, just like joysticks. This environment is more like navigating through a video game environment than traditional surgery. A longtime gamer himself, Rosser led a study comparing surgeons who played video games at least three hours a week to those who never played. He reported in archives of surgery that in a training task like this one, the video gamers made 37% fewer errors and worked 27% faster. Because he tested only 33 surgeons, it was a small study, and it's still not clear how well the training task reflects real surgery. But Rosser recommends that surgeons use video games the way athletes use a weight room. Even warming up with these games before going in and performing laparoscopic tasks can have a significant positive impact. Co-author Douglas Gentile has also studied the negative impact of video games. He cautions that too much playing can be harmful, especially for kids. That's taking away time from their reading, it's taking away time from their homework, it's taking away time from uh, exploring or creating or any of a number of other things that might be useful for their academic achievement. Rosser agrees that while video games might help make him a better surgeon, he still needed good grades to become one in the first place. I'm Brad Closa.